Welcome to my video on solving absolute value equations. So here we have the absolute value of x minus 2 plus 6 is equal to 10. And our first step is to get the absolute value on one side of the equation and get everything else on the other. So I'm going to get rid of this positive 6 by subtracting 6 from both sides. And on the left side, our positive 6 and negative 6 cancel out. And the only thing we're left with is the absolute value of x minus 2. And on the right side, we have 10 minus 6, which is equal to positive 4. So now we have the absolute value on one side of the equation, and we have everything else on the other side. So moving on to our next step, we need to take the inside of our absolute value, x minus 2, and make it equal to this number 4. So the inside of the absolute value x minus 2 is equal to 4. And we also need to take the inside of the absolute value x minus 2 and make it equal to the negative value of this number, negative 4. So x minus 2 is going to be equal to negative 4. So let me take a second and explain to you why this makes sense. Uh, let's say the inside of the absolute value is equal to positive 4. Uh, this makes the equation true because the absolute value of positive 4 is equal to 4. And now let's say the inside of the absolute value is equal to negative 4. This also makes the equation true because the absolute value of negative 4 is equal to 4. So I hope this illustration showed you why both of these equations make the original equation true. We have x minus 2 is equal to 4 or x minus 2 is equal to negative 4. So let's solve both these equations for x. If we add 2 to both sides on the left, we have a negative 2 and positive 2 that cancel out, and we're left with x. And we have 4 plus 2, which is equal to positive 6. Or if we solve our equation on the right, we need to add 2 to both sides. A negative 2 and positive 2 cancel out, and the only thing we're left with is x. And on the right, we have negative 4 plus 2, which is equal to negative 2. So we have two solutions. x is equal to 6, or x is equal to negative 2. So now let's go over a harder example. So here we have the absolute value of x plus 6 is equal to the absolute value of 2x minus 3. And this example is a little different because we have absolute values on the left and the right side of the equation. And this is nothing to stress out about, because if you erase one set of absolute values, you're still going to get the correct solution. So this is why I'm erasing the absolute values on the right side of the equation. So now we need to solve this the same exact way as our previous example. We need to take the inside of the absolute value and make it equal to the right side. So we have x plus 6 is equal to 2x minus 3. And we also need to take the inside of the absolute value and make it equal to the negative value of the right side. So we have x plus 6 is equal to the negative value of 2x minus 3. So now we just need to solve both equations. In blue, we have x plus 6 is equal to positive 2x minus 3, which is just 2x minus 3. So now we need to get x by itself, so I'm going to add 3 to both sides of the equation. On the right side, our negative 3 and positive 3 cancel out. And on the left side, we have x, and we have positive 6 plus 3, which is equal to positive 9, and that is equal to 2x. And now I'm just going to scroll down just to give myself a little bit more space. And once again, we need to solve for x, so now I'm going to subtract x from both sides. And on the left side, our positive x and negative x cancel out, and we're only left with a positive 9. And on the right side, we have 2x minus x, which is just equal to x. We have x is equal to 9. That is one of our solutions. So now let's solve our equation in red. We have x plus 6 is equal to negative 2x minus 3. And for some people, it's easier to simplify if you put a 1 in front of the parentheses. Uh, we have negative 1 multiplied by 2x, which is negative 2x, and we have negative 1 multiplied 
by negative 3, which is a positive 3. So now we need to solve for x. First, I'll subtract 6 from both sides. On the left, our positive 6 and negative 6 cancel out, and we have an x, and that is equal to negative 2x, and we have a positive 3 minus 6, which is equal to negative 3. And now I'm going to add 2x to both sides. And on the left, we have x plus 2x, which is equal to 3x. And that is equal to the right side, which we have a negative 2x and positive 2x that cancel out. And we also have our negative 3. And once again, we need to get x by itself. So we can get rid of the 3 by dividing both sides by 3. On the left, our 3s cancel out. And we have x is equal to negative 3 over 3, which is equal to negative 1. So now we have our two solutions, x is equal to 9, or x is equal to negative 1. So now I want to go over one more example and show you when an equation has no solution. So here we have two examples where there is no solution. We'll start with the first one. We have the absolute value of x plus 5 is equal to negative 7. And let's take a look at the left side of the equation. Because we have an absolute value on the left side of the equation, and we know that the absolute value is always going to be positive. No matter what, the absolute value is always going to be positive, or at least zero. It can never be negative. So if we know that the, the left side of the equation is always positive, or zero, we know for a fact that it can't be equal to negative seven. So whenever an absolute value is equal to a negative number, that is not possible, or you could say that there is no solution. The same for this example. We have the absolute value of x minus 2 is equal to a negative number. We know that the absolute value can never be negative. It has to be 0 or positive. So this equation also is going to have no solution. So I hope this video gave you a better idea on how to solve absolute value equations. I will be making many more videos in the future, so stay tuned. I really hope that you are enjoying these, and I will see you in my next one.